Now this is a good case of trying to use all of the information that you've got available to you to troubleshoot your presentation. So hypothetically, let's say that this is a 25-year-old female patient who presents with a history of cough. You actually have a lot more than that in these two views. On the right, you've got your standard PA projection, and on the left, you've got an apical lordotic view. So by thinking about why the examiner may have actually shown you these two projections, you get a lot of information about your, what your differential diagnosis might be. Apical lordotic views in a young patient are usually done to look for possible tuberculosis and nodular patterns which are at the lung apices obscured by the clavicles. Notice that the projection lifts the clavicles off and you've got the x-ray beam tilted upwards and have a much better view of the lung apices. If you have a look at the left lung apex, you can see there are some nodular opacities, certainly seen on the PA projection, but a lot more clear on the apical lordotic view. We'll have a look at the right and perhaps it's hard to say, maybe there are some nodules at that right apex, but certainly not as clear as that left-hand side. So at this point, you've got nodules, you've got an apical view, and you know that this investigation is done looking for tuberculosis. You can perhaps see, even extending towards the hyla, there might even be a more area of confluent consolidation and possible cavitation. So let's give this a go. These are PA and apical lordotic chest radiographs in a 25-year-old female patient who presents with cough. There are nodular opacities at the left lung apex, which extend towards the hilum, where there is an area of confluence and possible cavitation, characterized by central lucency. There is also confluence of markings heading towards the supralateral left apex. There are mildly increased nodular opacities on the right, however, these are less than on the left. The left hilum is mildly elevated, which may reflect volume loss at the left apex, and the right hilum appears normal. The heart is not enlarged and there are no pleural effusions. Given the patient's history of cough, these features may be in keeping with underlying tuberculosis, and given that the, an apical lordotic projection has been performed, I would infer that this was in the differential diagnosis. I would correlate with the patient's history, particularly if there was a history of recent fever or sick contacts. Given the concern for underlying tuberculosis based on the x-ray findings, I would recommend contact precautions and discuss this with the treating team. A CT scan could be further um, arranged to characterise these lung nodules, looking for tree and opacification or, or cavitating lesions.